In this video, we are going to create a virtual network, deploy two virtual machines onto that virtual network, and then configure them to allow one virtual machine to ping the other within that virtual network. So let's dive into it. And we would be beginning with creation of a virtual network. I am going to open up Microsoft Edge. And let's go to portal.azure.com After signing in, I would be looking for virtual networks. If you don't find over here, you can click either more services or you can search over here. Virtual networks is right there. Next let's create it I would keep subscription as default resource group would also be the default however you can change as per your requirements and name would be vnet1 region is perfectly alright review and create So validation may take a few seconds and let's deploy it. So my deployment is complete and my virtual network is ready. Next thing that I have to do is I would be going to create a virtual machine. So Let's create two virtual machines and we will be placing both of them on the same virtual network that we have just created. I would keep some of the information as default and let's name it, name it VM1, East US, image would be Windows Server 2019. I would keep my username and password over here. And okay, next thing is I have to look for my public inbound ports. Yes, there you go. Allow selected port is all right. RDP is also in the right way. And next I'm going to select the networking tab. Make sure that your virtual machine is placed in the VNet virtual network. So yes, it is. And review the default settings. And after that, I think everything looks good. Review plus create. And let's create. Done. Now I'm going to create another virtual machine by using that same procedure that we did earlier. This time I'm going to name it as VM2. And virtual network is supposed to be um, image would be the same one as we did earlier, 2019. Mm 
next I have to see my inbound ports so after that it will be all good to start with yes everything looks fine virtual network okay public okay let's go to i networking tab now so virtual network is v net 1 and public ip address is also correct okay and let's create it validation passed let's wait for its deployment to complete to go do is I'm going to my all resources which are over here and let's click VM1 the status is supposed to be running and I'm going to click connect and in the RDP I'm going to download RDP file and let's connect it Okay, so that means we have actually connected both of the virtual machines and the virtual network. So in both newly created virtual machines, we have to connect via RDP and disable both the public and private firewall by opening the start menu, settings, and network and internet, locate Windows firewall. Now let's open up the PowerShell to see if we can ping the other virtual machine or not. It's a bit slow. So there we have Windows PowerShell. Now we have to write ping VM2. So let's see if we are able to do that. 